Dear students, please note down. The PDF file of all these notes have been uploaded in the description of video lecture. Please download your notes. In today's lecture, we will discuss two more types of muscles, smooth muscles and cardiac muscles. In our last lecture, we have discussed skeletal muscles. Dear students, first of all, today we will discuss smooth muscles as in these muscles there is no alternately arranged bands no light and dark bands so these are smooth muscles so these are without any strips these are unstripped muscles these are non striated muscles and these muscles are named visceral muscles as these are commonly found in our internal body organs in our viscera like posterior part of esophagus in our gastrointestinal tract means in the lining of stomach in the wall of small intestine large intestine in our urinogenital tract in our urinary bladder dear students in the ciliary muscles of eye iris of human eye as well as these are found in the erector pili muscles of here, skin here. This is the structure of smooth muscle fiber. From this diagram, it is very clear. These are spindle shaped. Dear students, these are spindle shaped. It means their both hands are tapering. But in case of skeletal muscles, the ends are blunt ends. Here, the myofibrils run throughout the leg, but bands are absent. In these smooth muscles, there are no alternately arranged light and dark bands, as well as these are surrounded by simple plasma membrane, no sarcolemma. Competitive exam students, please note down each and every point. In these smooth muscle fibers, dear students, no sarcolemma, only simple plasma membrane is there. Their ends are tapering and these are uninucleated, single nucleus present almost in the middle part of each muscle fiber. These smooth muscles having a few mitochondria as well as few energy granules glycogen granules are less because these muscle fibers contract slowly but their contraction is long without any fatigue so these are named non-fatigued muscles these smooth muscles without any fatigue they contract continuously but slowly these smooth muscle fibers are innervated by autonomic nervous system. Dear students, by autonomic nervous system means both sympathetic and parasympathetic nerves innervate these smooth muscle fibers. So, they function without any involvement of will. These are involuntary in action. These are autonomic in action. And in these muscle fibers, as they contract slowly, so number of mitochondria is less, as well as energy granules, glycogen granules are few in number. Functionally, these smooth muscles are of two types. Dear students, functionally, these are of two types, single unit smooth muscles single unit it means the muscle fibers in this single unit the different muscle fibers are closely joined together and they work as a single unit it means the different muscle fibers in this single unit function simultaneously for example The muscles of gastrointestinal tract 
in the wall of stomach, in the wall of small intestine, in the wall of gastrointestinal tract, in the wall of urinogenital tract, the muscle fibers work as a unit, single unit, multi-unit smooth muscles. Dear students, second type on the basis of functions, the smooth muscles are of two types. In this multi-unit smooth muscles, in this multi-unit, the muscle fibers, they remain independent, are not linked with each other. So they work independently. Means different muscle fibers work, they function at different times. Such type of multi-unit smooth muscles are commonly found in erector pili muscles of skin here as well as iris muscles of human eye, ciliary muscles of our eyes act as multi-unit. Third type of muscles and these third type of muscles are cardiac muscles. Dear students, cardiac muscles and these muscles are present in the wall of heart as well as in the wall of large blood vessels like pulmonary vein and superior vena cava which enter in the heart. The cardiac muscles are present. Dear students, in the wall of heart and in the wall of basal part of superior vena cava and pulmonary vein. These cardiac muscles they show properties of both skeletal muscles as well as visceral muscles. As from this diagram very clear, these are elongated, thread-like, cylindrical structures. While these are spindle-shaped structures, it means on the basis of structures they resemble the skeletal muscles. The skeletal muscles also possesses alternately arranged dark light, dark light bands. It means these are stripped muscles. Dear students, these are striated muscles like skeletal muscles, but not down. In skeletal muscles, the, these bands, light and dark bands are well developed. But in case of these cardiac muscles, the light and dark bands are poorly developed. Here, each cardiac muscle fiber, yeah, each cardiac muscle cell having one nucleus, it means like these smooth muscle fibers, these are uninucleated. But in case of skeletal muscles, these are multinucleated, syncytial, but these are uninucleated. Here in case of cardiac muscle, this outer lining, it is not plasma membrane. Dear student, it is sarcolima. It means like skeletal muscles. These cardiac muscles also surrounded by sarcolima. But in case of smooth muscle, no sarcolima. It is a simple plasma membrane. Here, the ends of cardiac muscle fibers are blunt ends like skeletal muscles, but in case of smooth muscles, the ends are tapering. In these cardiac muscles, the blood supply is enriched. Abundant blood supply, like skeletal muscles. Here, blood supply is poor. Here, number of mitochondria less. Number of energy granules, glycogen granules less. But not down in these cardiac muscles like skeletal muscles. Blood supply is unreached. Number of mitochondria more and energy granules abundant. Dear students, because these cardiac muscles contract rapidly. As well as these muscles contract rhythmically. At a fixed interval, these cardiac muscles undergo contraction. It means 
दीज मसल फाइबर्स कॉन्ट्रैक्ट रैपिडली एज वेल एज रिदमिकली बट दीज स्मूथ मसल फाइबर्स कॉन्ट्रैक्ट स्लाली वाइल इन केस ऑफ स्केल्टल मसल्स दे कॉन्ट्रैक्ट रैपिडली द स्केल्टल मसल फाइबर्स आर कनेक्टेड बाय सेंटर नर्वस सिस्टम वाइल दीज स्मूथ मसल फाइबर्स आर इनर्वेटेड बाय ऑटोनॉमिक नर्वस सिस्टम नॉट डाउन दीज कार्डिक मसल्स आर इनर्वेटेड बाय बोथ सेंटर नर्वस सिस्टम एंड ऑटोनॉमिक नर्वस सिस्टम दीज मसल फाइबर्स कॉन्ट्रैक्ट रैपिडली एज वेल एज रिदमिकली एट फिक्स इंटरवल द कॉन्ट्रैक्ट अनदर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट करेक्टरिस्टिक फीचर ऑफ दीज कार्डिक मसल्स दीज मसल फाइबर्स आर इंटरकनेक्टेड बाई ओब्लिक ब्रिजेस इट मीन्स दीज कार्डिक मसल फाइबर्स कलेक्टिवली कॉन्स्टिट्यूट ए कॉन्ट्रेक्टाइल यूनिट एंटायर नेटवर्क डेवलप्स इन द हार्ट वॉल एज वेल एज अनदर इंपॉर्टेंट करेक्टरिस्टिक फीचर इज द एडजेसेंट कार्डियक मसल फाइबर्स हैविंग स्पेशलाइज रीजन एंड दैट रीजन इज इंटरकैलेटेड डेस इट मीन्स वन कार्डियक मसल फाइबर इज इनर्वेटेड विद द सेकेंड कार्डियक मसल फाइबर बाय ए स्पेशलाइज रीजन एंड दैट रीजन हैविंग ए डिस्क विच इज इंटरकैलेटेड डिस्क it means this intercalated disc acts as a booster to speed up the transmission of nerve impulses here the cardiac muscles the blood supply is abundant and rich blood supply poor blood supply and in case of skeletal muscles dear students and rest blood supply skeletal muscles undergo fatigue these muscle fibers contract slowly for long time without getting fatigued these cardiac muscles contract rapidly rhythmically no fatigue dear students this is all about three types of muscles skeletal muscles Visceral muscles and cardiac muscles.